Mark isn't exactly a warm and fuzzy gospel. Not only does it highlight the disciples' failings and lack of understanding, but it also demands a lot of them and of us. Next up, Mark's themes. Here's a quick preview. They're tough, but rewarding. Here's the first theme in Mark, the need for humility. This theme surfaces throughout the gospel, but here are a few examples. When the disciples argue about who's the greatest among them, Jesus offers up this lesson in humility. He takes a child in his arms and tells them to stop worrying about who's better. He says, whoever embraces one of these children as I do embraces me, and far more than me, God who sent me. And in Mark 10, Jesus explains to his disciples that real leaders are humble, humble enough to be servants. And whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all, he tells them. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister. The second theme of Mark is related to humility. It's about the need to endure persecution. Jesus makes it clear to his disciples that the road they've chosen isn't an easy one. In the same way they've misunderstood him, they will also be misunderstood and persecuted. In the same way he will endure crucifixion, the disciples will face their own difficult trials as they preach the gospel. But here's the good news. Remember that Jesus' crucifixion wasn't the end of the story. There was also a resurrection and an ascension. Jesus' life tells us that enduring persecution will ultimately allow us to triumph, just as he did. In other words, while both of these themes require a lot of us, they also come with great rewards. According to Mark, when you commit yourself to humility and faithfulness, you win the kingdom of heaven. Yeah!